Hey guys, Ice Cool Tech here, back with a brand new video. Now, uh, before I get into this video, I just want to mention a few things. Um, and the first thing is, guys, make sure to like and subscribe um, to the channel. It's really, really appreciated. Every subscriber means a lot, guys. Um, number two, I'm really sorry this video came out. It took so long to come out. Um, I've actually had to reshoot this video numerous times now for many different reasons. And I am... It's... I'm tired and it's I'm kind of having a rough time right now seriously I've had to reshoot this video multiple different times so I hope this one's it I hope this is the one you guys see so let's without further ado let's just get it right into it so I'm gonna make this quick the first thing that we have is yesterday I was 12.4 released and all I want to say about it right now is that the performance the animations everything about it is really smooth it's fluid it's just amazing guys um and it was worth the seven betas so <laughs> Uh, the only bug I actually noticed, and I just, it's not annoying, it's not really an issue at all in any way, shape, or form, it's just there, so I'm, you know, mentioning it. Uh, if you quickly, if, or if you go into a control center toggle, quickly tap out and immediately swipe down, you guys notice that the, uh, I didn't do it there, hold on. I can't do it, hold on, this is an issue. There we go. You guys can see that the little tab or palette, whatever you want to call it was like a, there was a delay there and it eventually went down but took a little bit um that's been there for the longest time i mean like i think probably probably since i was 11 if i pull out my iphone 5s and i was 12.1.2 here it's the same thing as it gets to 12.1.2 oh, sorry it was right there but uh anyway you guys can see it's the same thing right there um i guess it's, yeah, it's 12.1.2 yeah so <laughs> it's been there for the longest time but you know that's beside the point uh, so along with iOS 12.4, we of course got macOS 10.14.6 and iOS or iOS watchOS 5.3. But as a surprise to many, we actually got iOS 10.3.4 and 9.3.6. This was pretty insane, guys. And all they were both the same update. Uh, it addressed an issue that could impact GPS location performance and could cause system date and time to be incorrect. And same thing with 9.3.6. Just the same update, just iOS 9 and iOS 10. And different devices. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it, no, nothing else. It's literally just that. So, yeah. Fun. All right, well, it was just, a, the only thing that was really important about it is, I mean, I guess the changes were pretty important, but it was just a surprise. Like, why it's so late at this point? Why would they go back and fix this? I don't know. Uh, I could see them doing it for iOS 10, but I actually I can't even see them over doing it for iOS 10. But over 9, definitely. Like, for 9, that was just much. But, you know, so it is what it is. And I guess those of you that I feel bad for you that still use a 4S, like, I props to you guys. Because if you guys still use a 4S in 2019, it's your daily driver. You know, you are a legend because I wouldn't be able to do it. So, you know, seriously, like, you, you are a legend if you can do that. Um, like, <laughs> But anyway, um, but all jokes aside, if you guys are using like an iPhone 5 and you know you don't care about jailbreaking, definitely update. I mean, this is definitely something you want, you want to be on. But yeah, as I said, this is on I was 8, so I'm not going to update. But um, so yeah, so the next thing I want to talk about is this. I was originally going to do an iPhone SE and I was 13 developer beta for review, full review, but I'm going to scratch that because at this point, there's so many of them out on YouTube. I don't feel like there's a need to do it. And I, cause I, but there was so many things that happened yesterday when I planned to do it. And so many things prior to that, that I was just, it's just so late. And I actually downgraded. I was 12.3 beta of six, uh, cause I'm going to jailbreak when a jailbreak is available for that. So yeah, it's, but I can give you an overview of what I was going to say in the full review. All I really was going to mention, you know, more, I was going to mention more bugs and stuff. But for now, I'll leave you guys with this. Battery life was phenomenal on beta 4 compared to beta 3 version 2, beta 3 version 1, and 2 and 1. Definitely an improvement. Um, performance was a major improvement over all the other betas. And same thing with, like, bugs. There was, like, so many bugs that were patched. It was just great. Overall, beta 4 was nice. The second thing I was going to say, or well, more like fourth, was that I hated the 3D touch menu, the new one. It's, I don't like it at all for numerous reasons, such as I can't fidget with it. I have this weird thing where I have to like, I hope I'm not the only one. And honestly, I don't think I am. I mean, let's just like exit out of that really quick. Um, I don't think I'm the only one, but uh, when you go into like the 3D touch menu, it's just like, 
satisfying to do this, I guess. Just kind of like... Okay, anyway, you get the point. Um, but I can't... You couldn't do that on Beta 4 because whenever you did that, it would, like, down or up. It would actually minim get, minimize the menu and then go into jiggle mode, I guess that's what you could call it. Um, so you could rearrange the apps. And it was small. And it just didn't... I don't know. It just didn't... It was didn't... I don't know. I just I, the old one was, in my opinion, was better. Just yeah. Uh, so that's one thing. I, that's all I want to say really about iOS 13 developer beta four. I mean, you know. So anyway, iOS 12.1.2. I did bring this in earlier, and I have some good news on this front. So yesterday we got an uncover update, and you guys guessed it. I full 4K device support. All 4K devices up to iOS 12.2 can jailbreak. Uh, for some reason, I can't actually jailbreak my iPhone 5S here because it gets stuck on the second step. It like goes right before it goes to the second step. It restarts and does nothing. However, today on um, on cover, Pawn actually made a tweet saying that he, if you're having this exact problem, uh, there will be an update out to fix the reliability and just you know overall to fix it. So I cannot wait for that. Hopefully, it will fix my issue so I can jailbreak my 5S. I haven't tried my iPod Touch 6 generation yet, though. I'll have to try that in a little later. So until I can get these geo broken, there won't be no, like, tweaks or anything, tweak reviews. Um, but, yeah, so really awesome, guys. So full 4K device support, everything is out now. Um, you know, if you're having an iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, iPad Air... All of it, guys, you can jailbreak. It, there's no limits to 4K anymore, which is really, really awesome. So that's all I really have to say. And then, of course, stay tuned for the next Uncover update because he will be, as you said, he will be fixing some reliability issues for 4K. But, yeah, I mean, so overall, it's out. 4K is done. We have a 4K update. It's all done. So I'm not sure about these, by the way. Uh, iOS 9.3.6 and iOS 10.3.4. I don't know if you can actually jailbreak these versions yet. I'll have to try it out um, because the whole version and number and everything. I don't know. And I part of me want, says that you can't. The other part of me thinks that you can. I have no idea. I'll try that out. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So definitely, guys, if you are using a 4k device and you want to jailbreak from ios 12.0 through 12.2 you can do that now with full tweak injection everything guys it's insane so yeah guys um before i end this video i just want to say guys number one i'm really tired you guys could probably tell um sorry for any mistakes i made in this video i think i may have said something twice did i'll have to go back in the video but i may have repeated myself with what i was going to say about i was 13 developer beta 4 um <laughs> I may have said the whole thing a second time, but I mean, I guess just in case you missed the first part, there we go. Yeah, um, but it's been an interesting Monday, um, and I'm really sorry if it was late, and I'm sorry I'm not going to do a f completely full review of iOS 13 developer beta 4, but I have to get this video out. I've reshot re this, well, I've had to reshoot this video numerous times, I think over like maybe 10 times. Uh, for different reasons, and honestly, um, you know, it, it gets annoying after a while, so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to, like I said in the beginning, let me say that, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel for more, I promise you guys my next video will not be anything like this video, it'll be a lot better, everything will be better, <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be back up to speed, because I missed out on a lot clearly yesterday. I just have a lot going on. So there's a lot going on in te tech world. Monday was a big day for pretty much everything. I mean, so yeah. Well, I regardless of everything, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, just leave a like again. And subscription would be amazing, guys. It's free. So I know the word subscription, you probably associate it with paid app subscriptions, that type of stuff. But it's not. It's free, as you guys know. So it would be really awesome if you guys could subscribe. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as you could. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.